Kia ora, welcome back to the Queenstown Wanaka Dirt Report, a mini series for all your bike event and dirt updates in the Queenstown Wanaka region. This week we are at Winyard Bike Park and we are with local legend and ripper Robin Gooms, who's going to tell us a little more why this place is internationally renowned for its jumps and progression. Uh, Winyard is a pretty special place because it has something for everyone from like first time riders who are just starting to learn how to jump through to everyone who's sending it riding Dreamline which is like massive free ride hits and then many dreams like a bit of a slope style type of course uh, we've got airbag and mulch jump as well for like learning new tricks and progressing there and then being able to take it straight to the dirt here is honestly it's the dream. And next up is Crankworks Summer Series New Zealand. This festival is unique because anybody can enter and ride alongside the pros and is returning to the region February 28th, goes until March 12th and registration is currently underway at crankworks.com. We've had multiple reports coming in that limited spots are available but they're filling up really quickly so make sure you register before February 24th. It's all about the best of summer, taking the sport to new levels, new destinations and it's completely free to watch. It also has an incredible atmosphere so be sure not to miss it. The Queenstown Bike Park via Skyline Gondola is open every day from 10am until 7pm. The Vertigo Ride More DH Series is into round 2 this Sunday, February 19th. Utilising Queenstown Bike Park, the one day event format has events progressing in difficulty as the day goes on. Register on the day at the Vertigo tent at the bottom of the Skyline Gondola. To Cadrona, well with a little bit of rain in the forecast, the crew are getting excited for some great conditions on all trails, especially for the third round of the Fast Friday series coming up tomorrow. There's a $9,000 Trek bike up for grabs for every person who enters. Seems worth a shot. Also, Cadrona are part of the Crankworx Summer Series in New Zealand. They are hosting the downhill event on March the 8th and 9th. To Coronet Peak, well trail maintenance have been busy working on Upper Rood Rock. Damp mornings have meant amazing conditions recently. The new trail from the bottom of Rood Rock into Upper Hot Rod is now officially open for all. And a fun fact about this one, there are over a million trees that are going to be planted on the front face of Coronet Peak over the next 10 years. Next up for Coronet Peak is the Downhill Trail. They're working on that for the New Zealand Nationals. That's on the 25th and 26th of February. And this Saturday is the Craft Beer and Barbecue Summit. Meet the brewers and enjoy live music. To Bike Glendu, well they are actually closed this Saturday, February 18th for Challenge Wanaka. But don't forget they've got Bring Your Dog Day, the last Sunday of each month. This month it's happening on February 25th. Also, they have Women's Wednesdays happening every Wednesday from 5.30 p.m. Just $10 for a ticket or free if you have a season pass. To bike Wanaka, well, Lismore Bike Park Progress will be starting in early March. This will see a massive change for the renowned central Wanaka zone. Six weeks is about how long they think that new build will take. Sticky Forest has also been a favourite with all of the trails in the trees staying in great condition. To the weather forecast now, well, it's looking like we have more beautiful sunny days on Friday and right through the weekend. Sunday evening we'll see the northerlies strengthen, we'll see a little bit of light rain and brief overnight showers on Monday and Tuesday, with otherwise mostly sunny conditions for the rest of the week. Well that's us for another week, we'll see you again in two weeks time for more bike event and dirt updates. Until then, I've been Nick Hine signing off from Winyard Bike Park for Dirt Report. Thank you all for watching. 